Here's the thing. I want you to think for a moment as a man who is in a relationship. The last thing he wants is to try to find a side chick who is going to be clingy, who is going to be a problem for him, who's not going to accept his, their role in his life. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. My name is Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks. And what we're talking about today is a question I get asked so much whenever I do events from clients, DMs, messages. To get right to it, you're asking me, why do you always get approached by married or taken men? All right, now... Before I get into the answer, as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share this video. And I want you to vote below, yes or no, have you experienced constantly getting approached by taken men? Is this an issue that you are experiencing? I want to see how many people are going through this on a consistent basis. Now, there's a few different reasons. I actually got about four reasons why this happens, all right? And I want to lead off with the one that I find to be the most common, um, the one that I think doesn't get talked about enough, and is a, it's a huge, huge issue that creates problems in other areas of your life as well. So let me also say, before I give this first reason, my apologies, is that please understand, it doesn't matter who you are as a woman, almost every woman is likely going to be approached by a married or taken man at some point in their life, whether knowingly or unknowingly. And so it, it's going to happen regardless of whether you're a great woman, whether you're giving off this energy, that energy, whatever, it will happen. However, this video is focusing on the women who are constantly seeing that, are experiencing the pattern of it. Because it's one thing to happen here and there. It's nothing when it, it seems like almost all these guys are constantly married or taken. So let's get to it. I know you're anxious. Here is the biggest one. The biggest reason why married men approach you is because you come off emotionally detached. All right. So let me explain what this means. Here's the thing. I want you to think for a moment as a man who is in a relationship. The last thing he wants is to try to find a side chick who is going to be clingy, who is going to be a problem for him, who's not going to accept his, their role in his life. And so when you come off as an emotionally detached woman, you become the prime candidate for a side chick. Because you come off as someone who's going to know your role. You come off as someone who's not going to get all emotionally invested, who's going to take what they're given, who's going to be happy with the dynamic and keep it moving. And, and you can give off that energy and they're picking up on it. Even some men who can't articulate it, that's what they're picking up on that draws them to you because they think you are more likely to be okay with this scenario. You're going to be okay. Not that they think 100% you'll be down, all right? Not that you have, I'm willing to be a side chick written on your forehead, but when you come off emotionally detached, you are a safer bet. You are a higher probability of accepting this role and thriving in their eyes or in their perception of things thriving in this role whereas the woman who is seems to be more uh emotionally in tune who seems to be more willing to uh hold to a standard of emotional investment she's she's going to be problematic it's going to be too much trouble and so he doesn't want that he won't deal with that so you got to really ask yourself am i giving off that vibe and one of the key key things that plays into that is you have walls up and when you got walls up, and again, we could argue that a lot of people have walls up, but the emotionally detached, you got walls, you got snipers on the roof, you got landmines in front of the walls, you ain't letting nobody in. And so the more detached you come off, the more you seem prime or the more you seem like a, a great candidate for a guy who's already in a relationship. So that's the number one thing to focus on. Number two, number two reason that you are being approached by married men 
you give off a lot of masculine energy. So again, this kind of plays right into being emotionally detached and having walls up. When you give off a lot of masculine energy, you come off more so as someone who is operating in the logical and not the emotional. Now, now I don't want that to sound like an insult uh, in any kind of way, and, and I, but I want you to understand that, again, as a woman who is more in her feminine, she is coming more off, coming off more emotionally in tune, someone who's more emotionally invested into things. And that person for a man who's looking for a side chick is more problematic. For the woman who comes off very masculine, all right, very straightforward, in his mind, it's like you're like him, as in you will just uh, break down in your mind, are you willing to accept this or not? Does this work for you or not? But once you've accepted it, you're not gonna cross that line. You're not gonna be the woman that says, yes, I'm down to be your side chick, and then two months later switch up on him and want a full all relationship, want him to leave his partner. When you give off that masculine energy, you seem like someone who's going to fit that role so much better. Whereas the woman who's walking more her feminine, there's a greater concern that even if she initially goes along with it, she's gonna switch up. And again, she's going to be problematic. So the amount of masculine energy that you're giving off is going to cause a problem. And again, it goes hand in hand pretty much with being emotionally detached and having walls up. The more guarded you are, the more emotionally detached you are, the more you're likely to give off more masculine energy and much less feminine energy. And that is going to shoot you in the foot and make you a greater magnet for married and taken men. Number three reason why married or taken men keep approaching you. They're sensing desperation. Now, listen, I do not want anyone to feel bad when I say that, and I, and I don't want you to look down on yourself or beat yourself up, but the reality is this. There are some women, and if it's not you, you've seen it in other women, who are so desperate to have a man, they will take a piece of a man if they can't have the whole man. And sometimes, yes, there are men who pick up on this desperation, who pick up on the fact that you will be happy with what they give you. And that, for a man who's already in a relationship, is a prime situation. What better scenario for that kind of guy than to have a woman who will just be happy with what you give her? who will not hold you to the standard of giving your all, of fully investing, of being the man she needs you to be. This is what he's looking for. He's looking for a convenient situation. He's looking for something that's more manageable. And the more desperate you come off, the more you don't seem to have tapped into your self-worth, your self-esteem, and be confident as a woman, the more likely you are to agree to this scenario. And so again, it draws that kind of man to you. Now, some men, again, will not be able to fully articulate that in how they decide who they're going to talk to or they're going to approach, but they're still picking up on it. They still sense it in other ways, or they're still evaluating a woman who does not seem to have great self-worth, so she is going to be more likely to accept what I have to give her. And then the last reason is simply because some of you are just going to be highly, are just highly desirable women or very beautiful women. And some men, regardless of their situation, want to take their shot. And there's nothing you can do about that. And, and, and again, I would argue that if you are a, a highly desirable woman or you are a very beautiful woman, if you are making sure you're giving off the right energy, you're walking in your feminine energy, I still believe that you will not see this become a huge pattern in your life. But if you combine being very desirable or very attractive, and when I say very desirable, I'm saying from a superficial standpoint, I'm saying from on the surface, because they don't know who you are as a woman deep on the inside, but they can see what you're presenting or the energy that you're exuding in that moment. And if you are physically very attractive or physically draw a lot of men to you, and then you add on top of that, emotionally detached, 
um, lots of masculine energy, and even low self-worth because being very beautiful, being very attractive, being very desirable doesn't always equal high confidence. And so if you combine all those things, oh my gosh, like you, you're almost guaranteed, and I hate to laugh, I'm sorry, but you're almost guaranteed that you're going to draw a lot of those types of guys. And they're going to think they have a legitimate shot with you. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's going to happen for some people, for some women, regardless. But again, it's about, is this a constant pattern in your life? So if you want to see this change, because I'm just explaining why it happens, but I also want you to understand how you can start to at least diminish this pattern and, and start to see a change in the type of guys who approach you. You got to pay attention to your energy. And when we say energy, I will even more so say your spirit. I think that for, for me being a man of God, I want to use the word spirit more often than energy. But I, I really think they go hand in hand. They're the same thing. And so you have to be mindful of what kind of spirit are you giving off? And if you are walking more in masculine energy, are you walking with walls up? Are you emotionally detached? Do a self inventory of, uh, of you and, and find out, are these things real in your life? And if they are, we got to get to the bottom of it. And to correct them, the reality is you have to heal. Now, I won't get into all the healing steps right now. If you need uh, or you recognize you need healing in your life, I highly, highly suggest you get my book, Love After Heartbreak. It will give you all the steps to healing. It will, it will definitely change your life if you follow it as it's laid out in the book. And it's been helping and changing a lot of people's lives already. It's a book for men and women. But this video is obviously speaking to women. But that's for the healing. But understand that is what's going to be necessary if you want to change these uh, traits that we talked about that's attracting and causing more married and taken men to approach you. So do not get discouraged, all right? Do not let frustration get the best of you. Take a step back, evaluate if any of the things that we mentioned today apply to you, and let's start making the adjustments. But again, that starts with healing and making sure that now you are giving off the right energy. And you're also, let me say this, because sometimes things just hit my spirit and I got to mention it. If you want real love, if you want a serious relationship, you've got to believe you can receive it. If you don't believe that it even exists for you, then you are, you are going to increase your ability to receive the bad people, the, the ill-intentioned men, the men who are taken or in relationships. Because again, your negative perception is a wall. Your negative perception is bad energy, bad spirit coming off of you. You've got to change that. You've got to walk in positivity. You have to walk in love. You have to walk in healing. This is what's going to help you receive what you truly desire. So start believing it exists. Start believing God has something amazing for you and you will start to see things uh, play out differently in your life. So I hope this video was helpful to you again. If you are experiencing, or tell me yes or no, if you are experiencing a lot of men who are married or taken approaching you, and again, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.